Tenant Electricity Model. We have already implemented a number of tenant electricity projects. The concept has already been around for a few years and the great thing about it is that it enables tenants to participate in the energy transition. By obtaining locally produced electricity and by participating financially in the projects. And especially in Germany that comes in useful as we have a lot of tenants. So the model works the following way. The electricity that is produced on site from PV is consumed by tenants in close proximity to these plants. So for PV, the tenant electricity share originates, for example, from solar plants on the roof of a residential building and is then consumed in a direct supply line by the tenants of the building. In that case, the supplied electricity is supplied without relying on using the public power grid. Resulting in savings based on missing network fees, electricity tax and concession fees. However, the EEG Levi's, but even with that, the electricity remains cheaper than the basic supply tariff. In a case that is with the due energy, for example, electricity not consumed in the building itself, the chair can be fed into the grid. However, at least 50% should be consumed in the residence itself. For the mentioned residue energy, the feed-in tariff applies. which lies for PV plants in the range of approximately 8 cent per kilowatt hours at the time of this presentation. And in addition to the feed-in tariff, there is a tenant electricity surge, uh, surcharge added. That can be applied to systems up to an installed capacity of 100 kilowatt peak. Since the EEG 2021 is a, that's a fixed amount that varies depending on the plant size. And a few cities such as Munich offer an additional tenant electricity subsidy. So you could say it's quite attractive in that regard. And in case your own produced electricity is not enough, an external electricity provider is contracted beforehand to supply tenants with electricity from the public grid. Therefore, there is always the mix of tenant and public grid electricity. It is also possible to develop a combination with heating technologies and mobility concepts for quarters, shared buildings, in order to increase the self-sufficiency. Especially the idea to involve whole quarters neighborhoods is new since the EEG 2021, which means that it is not only relevant for individual buildings, and the participation of tenants is of course voluntary. So what does the model exactly look like? The picture shows a very simplified model when we have our apartment building on the right side with a PV plant on the roof producing electricity. That runs through a technical device, a biodirectional meter, to measure how much electricity is needed in the house itself in order to pass the chair on to the tenants, that is, to those tenants that are participating any, and any residual electricity is going into the grid or got from the grid. Um, the households that are not participating to continue receiving electricity from the grid, plus also participating households receive any residual demand via the public electricity grid. So there are many actors involved in the model. On the one hand, we require a building with a suitable rooftop, in our case the respective actor and owners of the municipality or the district of Munich, who provides us with a space for a PV system. 
After that, another player is, of course, the bank as cooperative responsible for planning, but also financing, maintain, maintenance and operation of the plant. For that, we work together with local technicians and involve people, especially from the area. Especially in terms of financing, the residents can participate in house and can also become members of the cooperative if they purchase a cooperative share to become a member. Which then entitles them to receive a dividend and also to participate financially in the plant by providing us with a loan that entitles them to earn interest on this loan. We also cooperate with green electricity suppliers, in our case that is Naturstrom. They are responsible for supplying the residual demand and sell solar power to tenants via us. And also uh, they take care of tariffs, metering point uh, operation and the billing. What are the advantages of the tenant electricity model? There are several advantages for landlords and for tenants themselves. Assuming that landlords are public actors, such as a municipality, then they benefit from socially equitable and affordable climate protection. They can use the model to implement their political objectives and thereby generate an advantage. They act as role models for other property owners, including other municipalities. That means landlords uh, thereby also enable a modern and sustainable energy supply system. It also allows them to retain tenants while also increasing the value of the building itself. On the other side, also tenants have advantages due to the reduction in electricity costs, which is something also mentioned before. Tenants are more independent of electricity price trends and overall market price fluctuations in general and have the possibility to participate financially based on a very good interest rate. By using locally generated renewable energy, you are actively protecting the climate and participate in a decentralized energy transition.